Good afternoon, Bumblebees. Today we're going to be looking at our feelings and we're going to be looking at what we should do and how we are feeling if we are feeling a little bit worried. Now, at the moment, I know that everything is different. We're not coming to school the same. We're not working with our um, teachers the same. We're not being with our friends the same. And sometimes that me may mean that we are feeling a little bit worried. So in today's PSHE lesson, we're going to look at our feelings. So we have lots of different feelings every single day. We have lots of feelings throughout the day as well. Sometimes the feelings feel good and sometimes they feel bad. So sometimes we might feel at this end of the scale, oh, we're really, really happy. We've had a brilliant day. We're working so hard and we're feeling quite excited and quite pleased. Here, we're just happy and everything's going well. Here, we might feel a little bit shocked or a little bit like, oh, what's going on? And here, we might just be feeling that little bit sad, a little bit fed up. So when you get a feeling, try to name it and then decide what you can do with that feeling. So if you get different feelings along this line here, what could you do with that feeling or how could you make yourself feel a little bit better? Now, feeling worried is absolutely fine and it's absolutely normal to feel worried when we don't know what's going on. So when you're feeling worried, you are often thinking unhelpful thoughts about something that might happen. Feeling worried is not a nice feeling, but we all feel worried sometimes. It's a feeling that might make you feel like you have a knot in your tummy. And to feel worried is absolutely fine. It's not a problem. What we need to do is know what to do if we are feeling worried. So here are some examples as to when you might feel worried or when you might be worrying about something. So you might feel a little bit worried when you've got to do something on your own. And that's OK, especially if that's something that you've got to do that's on your own is brand new to you and you've never done it before. It's OK to feel worried. If somebody new is looking after you or somebody that you're not quite sure of or you've not met that many times, you might feel a little bit worried. And that's absolutely fine. If lots of people are watching you, like on sports day or in assembly or at the nativity play, then you might feel a little bit worried. But don't worry, you're all doing such a good job and you're all working so hard. When you're going to do something new. Now, what we're doing at the moment is a little bit new and it's a little bit scary and it's a little bit different. OK, it's very different being at, at home all day and not coming to school. And it's very different that your teacher's sending work for you to do at home. That isn't your homework, but you're expected to do it. And that's OK if you're feeling a little bit worried about it. So just have a think of that question at the bottom. What makes you feel worried? You might have a whole range of different things that make you feel worried. And again, that is OK. So this little girl here on the picture is feeling worried. Talk to somebody at home. What do you notice about her face? What can you see has happened to her face because she's feeling worried? So if you were to feeling worried or there's something that was worrying you, there are lots of things that you can try to do to try and stop your worries. So first of all, you can use your words and say why you're worried. Talk to somebody at home. Tell them what you're worried about because they will be around to help you and they'll be around to tell you that it's OK. Take three deep breaths. So sitting and breathing really deeply three times will help you if you are feeling worried. Picture your worries in a bubble and then blow it away. Just like the girl in the picture here is. So she's thinking about her worries and she's putting them into a bubble and she's blowing them away to see if that will help her. And tell yourself nice things. Tell yourself how brilliant you are or how well you're doing at your schoolwork or just how things are at the moment and that actually it's OK. And have some quiet time. Sometimes it's really nice just to go into the garden and take a book or go into um, your bedroom with a colouring book and sit and draw a picture or do some colouring. That is absolutely fine. Have some quiet time and spend some time on your own. So I want you to uh, have a little bit of a share. So turn to someone sitting near you at home. Think about what makes you worried and then tell a grown up at home. So start the sentence with, I feel worried when. So have a little discussion as to what's making you feel worried. You might not have a worry and that's absolutely fine. But if you do have a worry, start with that conversation.
The activity I'd like you to do today looks like this. So it's a thought bubble where we're going to write down our top five worries. Now, it might be that you haven't got five worries and that's fine. It might be that you've only one or two. And again, that's fine. But what's really good is if you manage to identify your worries and then write them down. So then share this piece of paper with a grown up at home and then you will be able to talk through your worries. And if there's anything that is worrying you or you're thinking about or that's upsetting you, then somebody at home might just be able to help you. As always, if you need any help with anything, just drop me an email and I will try to do the best I can. Take care, everyone, and keep smiling.